Hey, all right, it's uh, Mike McGrody, Mondays with Mike. Uh, today we're going to come in the back here. We've been, we've had all these plants back here, a lot of Japanese maples. This right here, well, this is Orange Dream Japanese maple. This is Hearts of Gold. I think that's what it is. It's a, a redbud tree, pretty rare. And then we got some Lavender Twist redbud. So we've got all these beds in here with all these different Japanese maple varieties. We've got mostly Japanese maple. Um, so what we've done this year is we came through, we got completely weeded everything, and we've got, we put down about this much mulch because this soil just gets so hot and dry that I've decided that, you know, I could buy a load of mulch for three yards of mulch for less than $80, and if I save one tree from dying, it probably pays for itself. So as I'm standing here, I'm watching the wind work its magic on these trees. So, you know, people ask me, when do I prune? How do I prune? This is how I prune. If I'm going by and I see something that needs to be corrected, that's it. You know, am I going to make cuttings from these? No, I'm not because they probably wouldn't root. The timing is wrong. Japanese maples are hard to grow from cuttings. But what I did was I just helped these plants out by simply getting, topping them a little bit so that they're going to fill out more for me. So as you can see, we've got all kinds of different varieties. I mean, and, and we, we actually, we came through and fill in all the holes. So we've got all kinds of stuff. Everything is pretty well tagged, but we've got random varieties mixed together because it was really all about conserving space. Now, if you want to look at a Japanese maple, it just amazes me. This one is called Twombly's Red. This thing is, just, I mean, it is spectacular. It's, it's got a small leaf. It's very tight grower. These things have been hardy both winter and summer, very resilient in the sun. So anyway, uh, we got lion's head in here. I don't know if Amber can get in that fight. But we got some lion's head that we scattered in between here to fill in some spaces. So more hard to go. So anyway, uh, we we utilize the space. We've got rid of the weeds. We put down the mulch. Then I put down a pre-emergent herbicide over top of that. And I think we're good to go. What I'll do now is... is uh, when I have a few weeds in these aisles, rather than come in here and disturb the herbicide we put down, I'll come through with a non-selective herbicide and spray as needed. Hopefully, we won't have to do any weeding in here for at least 60 to 90 days. So um, we'll see how it works. But I think this is—I think these Japanese maples are going to be really, really happy with this mulch on there because it's just going to give them a little bit of—it's going to keep the soil from getting so doggone hot when the sun's beating down. So, anyways, you can see we've got. We got another area over there. We got this all done except one spot over there. We're going to plant more stuff in there that we had in pot. So, um, we got a plant. We had a plant sale last weekend. Three days we did. I think the number was about six thousand one hundred thirty-eight dollars in three days. We're going to have a two-day sale this weekend. Uh, it's right before Memorial Day weekend. This is more Memorial Day weekend coming up. So, we're going to sell on Friday and Saturday, and then we won't do any more advertised sales. We'll just, you know intermittent stuff we got people wander in every now this is the first year we've sold here so i'm real happy with the results this far so mondays with mike uh, we'll see you soon